Why when they do my tooth I can't feel my eye over here and it's doing weird stuff? Well guys, I am in the car and I am going to the dentist. So my mom is coming this weekend and my brother will be here with his wife. Uh, Thursday they come in with their little baby. Well, he's not a baby anymore. He's growing old. But I think it'll be fun. It'll be a fun time to spend some more some time with the family. They got a villa in here, so you guys will get to see that. And hopefully you'll get to see some more of the um, waterfall or water park stuff and some other things. So look forward to that and keep paying attention for that. When I got into the car, um, there was spider web. And you know how I feel about spiders. We all know how I feel about spiders. So today is just a day full of issues for me. <laughs> we have spiders and dentists and oh my, aren't we lucky. I found the dentist and I'm gonna go in, uh, fill my paperwork out and hopefully they fix my tooth. <laughs> they saved my tooth, hooray! That makes me a happy woman. Um, unfortunately, we still have to pay a big bill, but we can keep my tooth and I can look like a good person and I don't have a hole there. I was so afraid I was going to lose my tooth. I was freaking out. Um, but I'm very happy that they were there keeping, that I was able to keep it. I get really loopy when they give me the, the stuff to, um, numb my gums which is really weird because I hate when I have it done because I it's almost like I can't think and then I, it's, it's the weirdest feeling ever. So I'm not a big fan of any kind of medications or doctor's office visits or any of that stuff, but I don't really have a choice. I had to do this. Um, anyways, I'm on my way home to see Fred. He ordered his stuff for um, his solar panel and he's been trying to get a hold of Jayco and Jayco won't get back with him on this. Um, unfortunately, it's probably another issue that they missed. So, you know, look at this. You see this? Do they think that we don't live here? Uh, yeah, I know I'm gonna go. 800 bucks for teeth? I'll pull the darn things out of my truck. We'll be done with it. No, Buttercup. $800 so I can have to keep it. I'm kind of loopy though. That might just make Loopy? I'm going to trade you in for a newer model. Something that don't cost me $800. Who wants me? You're going to take me? She's a bit available, guys. Leave it in your comments below. Capiche? So I bought a solar charge controller. An MTTP solar charge controller with a bunch of fittings and stuff and I'm going to take the 200 watts on the truck plug it in when boondocking on the side of the RV and I'll have an MTTP charge controller with a remote up here I'm going to run a remote up and cut a hole and have a remote so I, you know why when they do my tooth I can't feel my eye over here and it's doing weird stuff this one is too it just feels like weird what's wrong with it okay but what I'm doing is um I, I called the manufacturer of this RV and for five hours today they got had me absolutely in circles going nowhere. No one knew anything. No one had any schematics on the solar prep on this RV. The solar prep is called... What's it called? Um, uh, solar prep? No, it's not called solar prep. The <laughs> solar prep in this RV is called... Solera. I don't understand. I go down there, I pull the whole cabinet apart, and I look... And there's four wires that are like eight gauge or like that thick, which two are for a positive negative DC on the battery terminals coming in, but there's other two of the same ones. I don't even know where they go. And I have solar hookups on the roof. Roof, I can't find them down there. I have solar hookups on the side of the RV coming in. I can't find those either. And them. they have no clue what's going on. They have no clue. They can't give me any answers whatsoever on this RV uh, uh, for the solar. Yeah, other things they, they knew, you know, like tanks and stuff and where they're located, but they don't know anything about the solar stuff. They said they don't do that. There's a hole in your roof and there's a part. You do do that, right? I mean, I don't get it. So I guess there's no communication between the solar company that in charts installs solar and the Jayco systems, I, apparently. Because five hours, three people, I still got nowhere. So I told them to call me back and um, 
they never call me back. So there you go. That's for a manufacturer for you. you they, I, I'm not even going to go into it, okay? But it's aggravating when you call from 12 o'clock or 11.30 and then 5 o'clock at night. And you still get nowhere. You have to go absolutely yeah. nowhere. So at least I got the parts and we'll go from there. Have calcium gummy. It'll make it better. What? The calcium gummy. Make it better. Okay, I'll try it. Anyways, guys, I'm looking for a GPS. Two GPSs I need. One for the car, one for the truck. I heard the Garmin 750s are good for RVs. I don't know, but I'm trying to... I got, Heather's got her tablet, and we're trying to find an Android tablet. And we're trying to find a, um, an app that works good. If you guys know any apps, Waze I found, but I didn't know if that was an app for... for uh, it's just a GPS maps of traffic. It's pretty cool. 100 million people downloaded it. But Waze, I I'm trying to figure out if I can get a GPS app that shows RV parks and GPS all in one in an app for Android at the Google Play Store. If you guys know of any, let me know. Please put it in the comments and let me know. So That's about it. I'm going to eat and edit this video. I don't know how much of video is on the video because Heather took the camera earlier, but that's what you get for today. We'll see you tomorrow and you know what to do. We love you all. Like us and share us. You know you'll find us funny.